Maryland's Chesapeake Bay provides water for the DMV and beyond, but pollution and climate change threaten the important watershed. Fortunately, environmental activists are restoring the bay. Mark Scallion, director for Pickering Creek Audubon Center, said their first project was to filter sediment out of the water. Uh, underwater grasses that grow in the water um, tend to get shaded out. And then also you start to kind of have with all of the runoff of, from pesticides and, and agriculture, tends to increase the oxygenation of the water in the summertime in particular, which is bad for anything that's alive in the water. Agricultural runoff, climate change, and unsustainable fishing practices are some of the major challenges facing the bay today. Assistant Director of the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, Vicki Paulus, says that these days, rebuilding fisheries with synthetic reef balls is a major focus. Uh, the reef balls are good for juvenile sport fish habitat, and uh, juvenile crabs go in there, you got turtles going in there. Scallion says that a main goal is just to keep the bay in people's minds. Right now, often things like economy and healthcare and jobs are a priority and those are important. But we'd also like people to kind of be thinking about the world around them as, uh, as an important thing in their decision-making process. For District Wire News, I'm Sayana Bichetti.